The name is Thursday, Detective Thursday Jones. I was born on a Monday just before the war. It was then I knew I'd spend my days trying to understand life's quirky mysteries. What can I get you? Hmm, I'll take the cannoli and a cup of joe, please. Yeah. It was a cold late November evening. I just spent another afternoon feeling sorry for my pitiful existence and desperately needed to unwind with a cup of java and some solitude. <coughs> Thank you. Though Tony's wasn't serving the best Joe in Chicago, they had the best cannoli on this section of the block. I had just cracked into the fried pastry when she walked in. Once I noticed how very distraught she appeared. <gasps> Excuse me, miss, but you're on my fork. How can you eat at a time like this, detective? How do you know my name? You are a detective, are you not? Well, of course, but what seems to be the problem? Do you find me beautiful, detective? <clears throat> I suppose you're not too bad to look at. Do you think I look like a cold-hearted, evil, horrible, awful, no good, terrible, bloodthirsty, too bad for words, horrific, ghastly killer, huh? Does this look like the face of someone who could murder someone? Well, have you? No, don't be ridiculous. Well, then why do you ask? What do you think of Tony the Tough Moretti? Tony the Tough? Don't act like you don't know the name, detective. I know you've been at it since the years. I think you might have me confused with somebody else. I don't think so. So, what do you think of him? Why ask me? Mm, we'll get to that. Oops. We'll get to that. Just answer the question. Does it really matter what I think? If you're going to start asking questions for every question of mine, we're going to be here all night. Fine. It's assumed that he is a famous crime boss. And from what I've heard, a cold-hearted, evil, horrible, evil, no good, horrific, ghastly killer. Oh, that? And he ruined my career. What do you think of him? There you go again, asking the questions. Job hazard. Go mm -hmm. ahead. In this city, there are only two things that exist, crime and murder. And I'm here to report that if you don't do something, possibly both will happen. But I'm not a cop, miss. LaRusso, Vivian LaRusso. Yes, well, I no longer do police work, Miss LaRusso, and you can thank your boyfriend for that. I drink my coffee and take the occasional picture of some misconduct. That's it. I'm pretty low-key. Look, I know who you are, and I need your help. A crime is sure to happen, and things are going to get messy. I don't want to involve the police. Tony would kill me. I want to be involved with you. I mean, I want you to be involved with me. I mean... I want you to be involved with the case. <laughs> it was obvious this woman was not going to leave. She clearly had something else to say and she wanted me to hear it. All right, you have my attention. Is this man bothering you? No, Guido, I'm fine. Better be nice, Miss Russo, or else. Excuse me? 
You better be nice, Miss LaRusso, or else. I'm sorry, I can't understand you. You better, I said you better be nice to Miss LaRusso, or else. Or else. Or else. Your monkey here has an elaborate vocabulary. <laughs> My eye is on you. Only one? <laughs> now, Miss LaRusso, you have spoken of a future crime and a murder. Would you like to elaborate? Please, do call me Vivian. My mother was LaRusso. You're stalling, Miss Vivian. So I am. Look, Mr. Thursday, I'm a desperate woman. You have to believe me. I need your help. You've given me nothing not to believe. Getting this dame to spill her case was like eating a cat to take a bath. It wasn't going to be easy, and the outcome would hurt. I hated to play hardball, but I detested being in the dark even more. Answers, dollface. Answers. I need you to uncover who's out to get my boyfriend. Tony the Tough? Yes, of course. Well, if he's so tough, then why does he need my help, hmm? I mean, I'm sure the list is endless. Look, Miss LaRusso, or Miss Vivian, I am not too excited about poking my head around Tony's business. He destroyed my career, and he's likely to kill me. <coughs> then that, well, I have left. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's probably true. Therefore, I understand your hesitation, Detector. But I think I can change your mind. Here, read this. A little bad when you fall to face. Hmm. Okay, Miss LaRusso. I think we have an accord. I'll check it out. Come sometime after eight. Tony is always here then. Security's tight. But Guido will make sure you get inside. Won't you, Guido? You'll get in. <laughs> we'll see. Goodbye, detective. Enjoy your Joe. a little apprehensive about this dame's story, but something about this fat envelope kept me in the game. It wasn't a secret that the dish was a looker and her appearance could blind me to the facts, not to mention my biased opinion. After all, I'd been asked to save the very man who destroyed me. It's your job to help me stay on track. Take notes, be observant, and above all, listen. Come on, Tony, you, you, you gotta let me try it, since I know I can do the job good and make a lot of cabbage. Mouth, I shut your bump of gums, you'd be floating down the Hudson without a raft. You catching my drift? Yeah, with kid gloves, Tony. Oh, good, now beat it to get my briefcase. Oh, uh, yeah, boss. Where's the Vivian tonight? She hasn't been in. Michelangelo, you seen Viv? No, Tony. She, she hasn't been in, but she said something about her uncle. Uh, here's your case, boss. Hmm, to see her uncle? Her mother was an only child. What about her father? Hey, don't be a putz. She didn't know her father. Hiya, Tony. Hey, where you been? To see my uncle. Eh, but you don't have an uncle. Hey, what an awful thing to say, Mouth. Vivian, she wouldn't lie to us. Would you, Vivian? But... I know. Get hey, the phone. Yeah, get the phone. Would yeah. you? Get the phone. Why, 
does he doubt that I have an uncle? The good is a moron. Why don't you fire him? You know I don't like him. Not now, Vivian, not now. Hey, that was uh, Nico the Nose's uh, pony Draco on the horn. Uh, apparently he would like a word with you. Yeah, I don't talk to the Nose unless the Nose comes here. Yeah, that's what I told him, that he's, he's, he's going to come here. Yeah, that's a fine, that's fine. You make yourself scarce, the doll. We've got the work to do. But Tony... This ain't a no place for a dame. Now beat it. Why does Pamela get to stay? She's a waitress in the joint. We're closed, Sony. Who's she waiting on? Guido, you taking my sister home before I blow my top. She's not my sister. <laughs> Good thing, boss. Yes, I seem to have broken down. I wonder if I could use your telephone. Wait here. Hey, the restaurant, it's a closed. Who is it? <laughs> a man who says he's up broken down. Yeah, I'll say. He wants to know if he could use our phone. All right, you tell him he can use the phone, but you watch him. Yes, sir. You can use the phone. Somebody get the lights. Oh, I've got it. <gasps> Tony, oh my, it's Tony. Somebody help him. Move back, move back. <sighs> yep, he's dead as a doorknob. <gasps> Doorknobs can die? <laughs> no, no way. I felt sorry for society. His heart pulsed through his veins. It wasn't strong, but it was there, pumping blood to his cold, black heart. He's just been knocked out. Try to set him up. I don't think you should move him. Well, excuse me, what? I don't think you should move him. When did you take up thinking, Guido? Anyways. That's for falling, not for being the weapon. Ooh. All right. Everyone put their hands in the air. Oh, fun, a game! <laughs> it's not a game, moron. Are we under arrest? That depends. There's flour here on these handles, and I intend to see which one is guilty. Hmm. Hands out, please. Got something to hide there, ape man? The name's Guido. Of course it is. Let me see your hands. I have a nasty word. I promise I won't be disgusted. Now let me see him. All right. See? Mm. Oh, brother. Real man's man. It was obvious that I had to resort to major tactics. As if a nasty, disgusting, most putrid thing I ever laid eyes on could actually cause me to faint. No, this was the time for eavesdropping. Better to play dead and learn than to be dead and die. <laughs> what happened? Hey, somebody clocked it, Tony. Well, who's the moron who wants to sleep with the fishes tonight? Yeah, well, it was me. I'm loyal. Yeah, we'll see. Where is he? Where is my baby? I'm a fine mama. I'm okay. I'm okay. Michelangelo just told me someone tried to whack on my baby. Tell me that ain't a true Tony making me feel all right. There's nothing to worry about, mama. I'm a fine. <laughs> you ought to be a fine if you got out of the life like I told you. Someone will eventually try to kill you, huh? Mama, go back to bed. I'm a fine. <laughs> Fine, Guido, you'll take a good care of my baby, you hear? If anything happens to my Tony, you'll all be a sorry. Yes, Mama. Yes, mama. Yeah. Good. Good night, Mama. <laughs> hey, who's the putt that carpeted my floor? 
That's Detective Thursday, Tony. I invited him to protect you. Yeah, well, he's doing a great job. <laughs> hey, Guido, get him up. Yes, boss. Pamela, can I have a cannoli, please? <sighs> ah, so, detective. You think you're going to help the likes of me? Wait. I know you. Aren't you that job that tried to ice me once? Yeah, Detective Sunday. Oh, I love Sundays, especially with sprinkles. Can I have one, Tony? Pretty, 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 please? I think we have bananas. It's Thursday. Oh, it's not. Today's Monday. I know because I had art today, and I always have art on Mondays. <laughs> you know what? You're kind of cute. Guido, take my sister upstairs. It's a time for bed. It's not even nine yet, Tony. She tells time. Don't make me sore. Now, Ella. You're such a party pooper. <laughs> now, where were we? Uh, figuring out why this punk is in your place here. Uh, you up to no good, copper? No, Miss LaRusso here just seems to think you are in danger and asked me to investigate. You just sustained a knock on your head. Doesn't that worry you? Hey, hey, no one can get to me first. I'm a highly protected. So if you were uh, hit in the head with a rolling pin, oh, I don't know, in your own restaurant, then we can assume that someone at close, that your closest is at fault. Are, are you putting down the family? Is he putting down the family? You wouldn't be putting down the family because if you were. Uh, yeah. Shut because up. If you shut up, mouth. Sorry, Tony, I didn't... Uh, You're still I, I talking. Mean... You're still talking. Right. No, Tony. He's just trying to figure this out. Give him a chance. Someone is out to hurt you. You've been getting nasty letters for weeks. Didn't we send you home? Sorry, boss. <laughs> we didn't make it. <laughs> I... Obvious. Uh, you know, I'm a curious. Why would you want to help me anyway? You know you hate me. I'm the guy, you know, I destroyed your career for false accusations. Do you want a piece of me? Are you trying to rub me out? No, no, I'm just here because Miss LaRusso here asked me for help. Of course, uh, a few dead presidents in the hand didn't hurt. So you can be bought. Well, we all have to eat. I like this guy. Hey, Pamela, get this guy some pasta, eh? No, no, that's, that's fine. I already ate. <laughs> already ate? He already ate. Is he kidding? Uh, when the boss offers you some pasta, you eat the pasta. Right. Of course. What was I thinking? <laughs> it was apparent that I should eat the pasta. Something told me to eat or get out and that a handshake with this guy would be a lifelong commitment. How long a life was hard to determine. I only hoped it was long enough for dessert. Eat it or don't, you'll probably die either way, but I'd eat it. Thank you. Can't wait. It smells great. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. So you're going to find out who wants to hurt me then? I'll give it a try. I knew the list was as long as the state of California, and the thought of running away like a little girl seemed to be the same thing to do. But I didn't move. Called insanity, bravery, 
or the chili dog I had for dinner, but I wasn't moving. Who would want to hurt you there, Tony? Uh, it's uh, Mr. Moretti to you. Hey, I'm a good guy. Despite what you read in the papers, I'm a nothing more than a businessman. So to speak. Didn't we fire her? Uh, several times, boss. We'll do it again. Yeah, it won't stick. <laughs> Why not? Are you losing your touch? Do I need to fire you too? I'm your mother's niece's cousin's sister, sister. Bada bang, so you are. <laughs> hey, you bring me a cup of this Pimani, huh? You earn your keep. Yep, sure, Tony. So, detective, you know, here's a skinny on the situation. The cops who think they know me, and the Italians who want to know me. The mobsters who want to end me. You capiche? It's not easy being ma a man of my stature in this community. It takes a loyal friends and family members. I trust everyone in this room with my life, except for you. You know, it's funny how you arrived right before somebody knocked me upside the head. Yeah, funny. I know, I'll get the door. Get the briefcase, get the phone, get the door. <laughs> gets, he gets whacked on the head and his legs don't work no more. Take it you have some business to conduct, and I better leave. Yeah, you're a smart one, isn't he, Vivian? Yes, Tony. I did good, right? Hey, Guido, you see Mr. Jones and Vivian out? Yes, boss. Hey, you come tomorrow around noon, and we'll talk a business then. Thanks for the pasta. Oh, no, no, you take it with you, I insist. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Hey, now split. I'm a busy man, a very busy man. It was apparent that he was a busy man, a very busy man, and I was in his way. I took my pasta and followed the ape man out the door, but I knew I'd be back. This investigation wasn't over. Noon, high noon, oh yes, I'd be back. <laughs> Your cook sure hasn't improved much, Tony. Hey, Mike Angelo, he tries. He's not even Italian. His papa cooked in prison where they served Chef Boyardee. How you know he's not Italian? We've been some checking on you, Tony, and we know a lot more than you think we know. His name is really Michael Smith. You give him that name just to sway us from his true identity. Are you calling me a liar? Leo, is he calling me a liar? Yeah. <laughs> because I'd hate to think what would happen if you were calling me a liar. Nico's not happy with the way you're running the family business, Tony. You need to tighten the screws. People are growing restless, and our reputation is getting sort of like a weak step stepsister. Hey, you tell Nico it doesn't matter what he thinks. He was kicked out of business matters many years ago. You know, his opinion, it means nothing to me. He is your mother's son. That doesn't mean he's a family. He's your flesh and blood, Tony, as I am. Ah, it means nothing. Hey, Pamela, you bring us some grape juice, eh? No, no, I'm allergic to the vine. <laughs> You're a disgrace to Sicily and the family tree. You talk about my cook, you an imposter. If you just listen to the new way, Tony, let Nico tell you his plans. I promise you'll see we're not so bad. Business could be booming again. Business is a fine. You, on the other hand, are not. Hey, you piled this pepperoni pizza to my door. You'd be sorry, Tony. Nico the nose will sniff you out. I think that's snuff. Ah, quiet, mouth. Hey, you tell Nico he comes within a block of my come door. On. He'll be sleeping with the fishes tonight. Here you go, Mr. Moretti. Ah, uh, you know, you close up. I'm going to go to bed. <clears throat> Aww, everyone's 
gone figures. I always miss the good stuff. No one ever finishes my food. That's because it comes from a can. Shh. Do you want Tuff to silence me? Oh, please. He's going to find out, and when he does, you'll, it won't matter. You'll be cooking six feet under. There's a war about to go down between Nose and Tuff, and we're going to be caught in the middle. That has nothing to do with me. That has everything to do with you. Did you hear Vivian talking about seeing an uncle? That's a code word. Code word? I mean, she's done something Tony Water to do. What do you suppose <clears throat> that is? It's me. Hmm. Well, something fishy is happening. Did you hear that? Hmm. Well, I can hear my tummy growling. It's saying, <laughs> Do you want to hear it? Oh. Shh, shh. I heard it too. What are you going to do with that? Oh, it kills flies. Oh, brother. <sighs> Let's see. Did I hear it? Where is it? Where? <sighs> Ouch! What'd you do that for? What are you sneaking around for? I left my hat. Like the one on your head? Huh. Yep, just like that one. <sighs> you know you can get yourself killed sneaking around Tuff's place. Is he around? He just went up to bed. But we're here. You better watch it, I'll swatch you again. <laughs> I see. Just give me a minute of your time and uh, I'll be on my way. Fine. One minute. You know, you really are cute. <laughs> Aren't you Tony's sister? Was Mike's food bad? Hey. <laughs> well then, I think I'll be staying clear. Like the cannolis and the coffee. Well, that's because Mama makes the cannolis and Pamela makes the coffee. What do you want, Mr. Jones? Well, I'm just curious about a few things. That's all. <gasps> I'm curious about a few things too. Like, if number two pencils are so popular, why are they still number two? <laughs> like what, Mr. Jones? Wait, wait. But if you arrest a mine. Do you tell him to remain silent? It was apparent that the dame had a leak in her tire. <laughs> I had to get rid of her. Maybe you should go to bed before Tony realizes you're missing. Like I care what Tony thinks. My big brother's just a big fuddy-duddy anyway. Uh, who supplies you the gl with glad rags and diamonds. Mm -hmm. Okay, but wait, one more thing. What? Well, if I melt dry ice, could I take a bath without getting wet? <sighs> hmm. Good night, Ella. Good night. Yeah, Mom and Mia definitely dropped that one on her head when she was born. So you work here? Yeah, uh, what give it away? Ah, do you know anything about the letters Tony's been getting? Uh, not really. But what I do know if, is if Tony gets scared off, he'll be out of a job. So I'm really pulling for you, Detective. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm screaming out. <laughs> Night. Walk up, will you? Sure will, Michelangelo. Can I get a cup of joe? So why are you really here, Detective? I'm just trying to uncover who's out to get Tony. Wasn't really given the opportunity to scope out the place earlier. Thought maybe I could now. That's not it. That's not it. Your reason for being here. You're here to get something on Tony. No leopard changes his spots. Your reputation precedes you. Well, chasing Tony lost me my job. I'm not stupid twice. But you were once? Apparently. So why help him? 50 G's, darling. <laughs> That's disappointing, detective. You can call me Thursday. I don't think so. If money is your only reason for being here, you need to leave this alone. What are you afraid I'll find? 
Should I haul you in? <laughs> what do you have to hide there, doll face? Nothing. I'm just warning you. Like you care about my well-being. I'm not buying it. It won't cost you a dime, detective. This one's for free. Get out while you still can, and maybe you won't get hurt. Funny how you knew where to grab that rolling pin when you thought I was the predator. Is it you? Are you a spy? <laughs> Shh, will ya? Am I warm there, Miss DeLuca? What does Tuff have on you that really makes him, makes him want to bring him down? After all, you're barely family, am I right? You have a really big mouth, you know that? <laughs> I'm just good at my job. No, you're an imbecile. Put this in your mouth so I can get a word in. I'm not out to get Tony. Not in that way, anyway. How's that? I'm undercover. And you're what? A pro skirt? I'm FBI. FBI. But you're a dame, a broad, a dish kitten, a babe. Who's about to kick your teeth in if you don't hush it. Oh, fine. You're FBI. What are you doing working in a dive run by the mob? I was sent here to flush out Tony's dealings, to get answers about his real business. And since I showed up on his family tree, they sent me. No one seems to know what his real racket is. And you never will. Take my advice and leave this one alone. I know. Trust me. I know. He's got a connections all over Chicago. He'll ruin you like he did me. But this is Chicago. Just one city in the scope of things. I work for the federal government. No one, or he can't pay anyone to hurt me. You're pretty naive there, doll. I know tough. I'm betting most likely he would. You think a lot of yourself, don't you, Mr. Jones? Not so much. Yep. I think you're quite the looker for an FBI waitress. And I think it's getting late. I need to lock up and you need to get out of here. Fine. Look, I found my hat. <laughs> funny how it looks like the same one you came in with. Yeah, funny. Good night, Miss DeLuca. You be careful. I can take care of myself. As she showed me to the door, I couldn't help but wonder if that was true. And oddly enough, I cared. No dame had turned my head in over five years. I'd better beat it before she had my full attention. Night. Good night. Nico, we shouldn't be here. Relax, my family owns the joint. They don't care about you anymore. Yeah, and I'm about to change that. That's why we're here. It's a new day, Draco, a new day. Just look at this place. My papa, God rest his soul. He'd whack my brother for what he's done to it. You know, and I won't rest until... <sighs> Pamela! <sighs> Knows you really shouldn't be here. Pamela. Tony is in a mood. Pamela, you are looking better than ever. If we weren't related, I'd think about taking you out on the town. And don't concern yourself with Tony. Her nose ain't worried. And your pretty face shouldn't be either. Now, how about some service, eh? Sure. What do you have, Nico? Hmm. You know, I'll have whatever's the best Italian, rest uh, Italian food in the kitchen. You sure you're not in the mood for dessert? Mama just made spumoni ice cream. Pasta, Pamela. Sure, Nick, er, Nico. You're the boss. That's right, I am. <coughs> Nico! Ella, my beautiful sister. Come here and hug your brother. Wow, look at you, so tall and beautiful. Maybe I should start coming around more often, you know, keep an eye on you. Well, I wish you'd come around more, but don't chase the boys away. 
I like them. It's a brother's job to chase the boys away. No one's good enough for my baby sister. Tony does that already, and I get lonely. Well, it's good to see he has some usefulness. Does Tony know you're here? No, why don't you go let him know? Because I haven't left the room? Why don't you leave it then? Okay, but this won't end pretty. As I took in the scene before me, I couldn't help but wonder what was about to go down. Almost noon. Nico, you know we shouldn't be here. Say that again and I'll cut you out of the family tree. My lips are sealed. We have every right to be here. It's Tony that should be disposed of, capiche? Yeah, you got a lot of nerve showing your face around here. Look who's talking. Uh, why don't you just breeze out of here before I have a uh, Guido break you in two. Just give me the order, boss. Fine. No violence. I wouldn't want to ruin my family's carpet with your blood. Just give something to your boss for me. A message, so to speak. Tell him we'll be talking real soon. Let's go. Seen that before? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Mm. oh, I miss saying goodbye to Nico. What's with the dead fish? <laughs> Swimming with the fishes. It's a message. I thought it was just a replacement for Mike's pasta. <laughs> oh, come on. I heard that. Come back here, copper. I'm here to meet with your boss. Can you fetch him? <laughs> nah, good dog. <laughs> so, what do you make of the fish? Hmm. Well, pretty, do you think Nico's going to make a move? Pretty bold move. Yeah, but effective. If he gets Tony out of the way, there's nothing stopping him from taking over. Except the law, he can't dangle a fish in Tony's face and then ax him. Everybody we've been looking at knows is the prime suspect. So he's too obvious. Obviously. <laughs> Beauty and brains. Out of all the cities and all the cases, she had to walk into mine. The boss isn't here. I'm sorry, what? The boss is in here. I'm sorry, I don't understand you. Tony's gone. Well, why didn't you say so? <sighs> hey, Leo, did he have anywhere to be today? Hey, yeah, he's supposed to meet with you. Hmm. I think Tony's been taken for a ride. Someone's kidnapped him. How about some coffee? You again? I admit it. <laughs> you like me. I like the zoo too, but it still stinks. I just need to ask you a few more questions. <sighs> Can't figure this one out, detective? I told you, walk away. I was thinking better yet. How about we partner? I don't partner. Especially with a washed up detective who has a foot in the sewer and works for rats with money. 
Listen here, you. This isn't just about the money. Oh, yeah? Then why save a man who hurt you, ruined your life? Why eat at his restaurant and take his money? You want something, detective, and I intend to find out what. Oh, none of us are deserving of forgiveness, Miss DeLuca. Some more than others. And yet, we get it freely, don't we? What are you talking about? Ever been to Sunday school? <laughs> You've been to Sunday school? Yes, and was taught many things like an eye for an eye or turn the other cheek. You know, stuff like that. You know, <clears throat> forgiveness. Ah, I see. So you think that Jesus, just because Jesus can look past Tony's indiscretions, you can too? Aren't we all supposed to be like him? Jesus didn't take money when he showed forgiveness. He did it for free. So you judge me because I'm doing this for money. I judge you for being here. Why are you here, detective? Don't tell me you've forgiven Tony and his family for what they did to you. I won't buy it. You are hardly a saint. Listen, dollface. Things aren't always what they seem. Enlighten me, please. Tell me about Michelangelo. What do you know about him? You're not going to answer my question? Answer mine and we'll see. I don't know much about him. He's not much of a cook, that's for sure. And definitely not Italian. I found out he's Portuguese. And yet he does all the cooking for a well-known Italian restaurant. Doesn't that seem a bit odd? No odder than you agreeing to do this case. You're relentless. And you're stubborn. I didn't know if I wanted to hit her or kiss her. <laughs> Being around her made my heart beat faster and my mind worked slower. <laughs> Dames, Lord, you're going to have to help me with this one. <sighs> Fine. The truth is, I've been hanging around this joint for months, hoping that I could find something against Tony. Miss LaRusso just gave me the green light, that's all. So you're the one who's been sending the letters? <laughs> yes. And you're the one who hit him over the head? Nope. <laughs> That's the real case. <clears throat> I'm simply just a conduit to get the ball rolling. I could turn you in, detective. Yes, you could. But then we would never know the truth, huh? I'm a good agent. Maybe that's not the truth I was getting at. <sighs> what truth? I guess you'll just have to trust me to find out. I knew that before I could figure out who was out to get Tony, I'd have to talk to the people who knew him best. The first person on my list was Babyface Maruko. Babyface was an old school mobster. He wasn't part of the Moretti family, but he definitely had some insight into the business. Excuse me, is Babyface in the room? Yeah, what do you want? Oh, hello there, Mr. Face. Mind if I call you Baby? I prefer Face. Okay, Mr. Face. Great. How do you know of the Moretti family business? The Morettis, they're a sham. They're not who you think they are. Their business ain't my business, capiche? Now, scram. I'm trying to eat my dinner. Thank you for your time there, face. I could tell I wasn't going to get far with the crime boss, and I better figure I'd move on to another route. The next person on my list was Eliza Lemon. She was a maid in the family home for years and knew the brothers well. Has anyone seen Miss Lemon? Maybe. Oh, hello, Miss Lemon. I wonder if, I could, if you could answer a few questions for me. How much is it worth to you? Uh, another 50 G, please. You know, just because you're good looking doesn't mean you're going to get your way with uh, asking questions. Ah, but you knew the Moretti families pretty well, didn't you? Maybe. Okay, well, can you explain what happened to Nico and Tony and what caused them to go their separate ways and start this war? Well, you know, Tony inherited the business from his father because he's the eldest. But that doesn't mean he did all the work. Nico was the one who did the work, and who got the credit but Tony? 
Don't you think that might be a reason for them to have a falling out? But what do I know? I'm nobody. Huh. Could be. But who's the detective here, huh? Thank you, Miss Lemon. Now, I checked off another name and moved on to the next, Jelly Bean Permetti. Is he in the house tonight? Yeah, what do you want? Oh. Hello, Mr. Permetti. I hear you did some time with Guido, the Moretti's bodyguard. Can you tell me about him? Uh, oh, Guido. Very loyal dog. He'll do almost anything his boss tells him to do. Hey, are you here to arrest me? Because I ain't going back to no slammer. No, no. Just need some information, that's all. Hey, you enjoy your dessert. The look in his eye made me realize I needed to check my list and move on. The next up was the owner of the Blue Lounge, Paula Blue. The woman owned the joint from when her late husband passed on. Is Miss Blue in the audience tonight? I'm right over here, tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Good evening there, and uh, I understand you are Miss Vivian LaRusso's employer. Um, yes, I was. Hmm. So have you noticed anything unusual about her behavior? Or anything that would suggest mm. she could be up to no good where Tony is concerned? Well, let's see. Everybody knows she loves Tony. But we all know that she's a gold digger. So if the Morietti family business ever folds, she's going to be long gone. She's always on the side of the money, and I mean always. Now that's all I know, but I just want to make sure uh, you have my phone number. <laughs> okay. That's nice. Just that's give very me a interesting. Call anytime, I'll answer any okay. questions. All right. Thank you, Kappa. That's thank you. The question of the family business was bugging me. I'd been led to believe they were both part of a organized crime, mafia men, those responsible for much of the debauchery in the neighborhood. The more I talked to those who knew them, the more I doubted that was true. I'm looking for Kristoff, the cook. Hey, I'm a Kristoff the cook. Aha, how you doing, Kristoff? You feeling better today? Uh, I'm not too bad. Yeah, that's you got a little eye problem, you know. Yeah, I heard. That's, that's good. That's good. No, that's bad. Okay, it's bad. <laughs> you used to work in the Moretti's kitchen, right? Until you were fired? I, uh, Christophe, was never fired. Oh. I was a let go, but never fired. So, uh, what are your thoughts on the kitchen staff being to blame for Tony's disappearance? Well, I wouldn't have put anything past that Michelangelo. You know, he's not even Italiano. Uh, uh, but, you know, he gains the most by Tony sticking around. Uh, you know, Tony hired him. And trust me, no other Italiano restaurant owner would have done that. Tony doesn't deserve the business. But he will get what is a coming to him. I see. Don't have to know what that is. What's it coming to him? Uh, yeah. I don't know. I, I'm not going to send him a flowers or anything. No. Okay. Well, I used to really enjoy your lasagna. I hope everything works out for you. I, I, I'm taking a little vacation and now, and then I'll go back and I'll let you know when uh, I start to cooking again. Okay. You take care of that eyeball. Thank you. <laughs> I only had one more name on my list. I hoped it would give me more answers than questions. Their old waitress, Kitty Lamour. Hello, Kitty. Do you remember me? You had, me t you had Tony fire me from the police department. Wait, wait, wait. You can't pin that rap on me. Tony's mama pulls the punches. She doesn't like you saying something bad about her son. If she doesn't like anything, she puts a stop to it. <laughs> yeah, well, thanks for nothing, doll. My list was empty, but my head was full of questions. I had some thinking to do. I figured I could catch a few Z's, get my head on right. Maybe then I could begin to put the pieces together. To me, the smart thing to do would be to take a 10 minute break, use the restroom, refill my cup of joe, and wait for the flashing lights. But then again, that's just me.
take good care of yourself you belong to me eat an apple every day get to bed by three take good care of yourself you belong to me be careful crossing streets Ooh, don't eat me yourself you belong to me button up your overcoat when the wind is free take good care of yourself you belong to me wear your flannel underwear when you climb a tree take good care of yourself to me. Don't sit on hornets' tails, ooh, or on nails, ooh, or third rails, ooh. You'll get a pain and ruin your tum-tum. Don't start an argument with your mama Mia. Take good care of yourself. You belong to After hours of studying my notes, the picture in my head began to take on some color. Vivid and clear. I wasn't positive, but I was sure. Hey, what's the meaning of this? I run the family now. Who called this meeting? Do you know? No. I don't know. Why don't you make yourself scarce? I'm looking for Tony. Uh, there's a new lion in town, and that's Leo. Tell me you didn't do it, Leo, not to your own cousin. Do what? Hurt Tony. Get him out of the way so you can take over the family business. Uh, no, I'm just uh, collecting what's been left behind. <laughs> you want me to clobber the cat? I'll let you know. Just say the word. You better show respect, Guido. I work with Miss Vivian. Uh, yeah, but since Tony ain't around here anymore, she doesn't have to be here either. You know what I mean? You better not have hurt Tony. You and no matter what a Leo's done, the business ain't of his anyhow. Nico be here shortly. He'll take care of everything. Mama Mia, what are you talking about? Tony trained me. Trained you to be what? A stupido? Ha! Ah, Tony had a his chance. This ain't a his restaurante. He's a thick headed like his papa. Is that any way to talk about your son? He's missing and we don't. Now, you listen here. You come here flaunting your hourglass, uh, thinking you know my son. I know my son. I diapered him and I know who will do good and who will run my restaurante into the terror. Escadella Mia Vista. Yes, Mama Mia. Come, Miss Vivian. She wants me to get you out of here. I thought you worked for me. I do, but she scares me. <laughs> <laughs> Mama! Nico! Pamela! Bring my prodigal son in a cafe! Mama, how you been? Good, son. You, uh, you got a problem? Uh, yeah, you, Nico. You got a lot of nerves showing your 
knows around here in this place from the last time you were here. You better not be uh, shooting your mouth off or I'll, uh, I'll close it permanently. Shut up, Boca, both of you. Keep familia, step to the familia. The air in the room was hot and I was about to turn on the furnace. I'm glad you all could make it. You here to arrest us, copper? Should I? Ain't no copper. He lost his shield years ago. Yeah. Tony, Tony told me all about it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let me finish yeah. my line here, would you, huh? And you ain't yeah. no mobster either. Oh, yeah. But I still walk on the side of the law that's about to set the Moretti family free once and for all. Should have put a puppy full of lead, boss. What lead, eh? What you, what you thinking you're going to do there, copper? Rest us for uh, pepperoni being too spicy? Maybe a non-Italian like you should eat in a safer neighborhood. You know, get yourself some Wonder Bread. Pe Pepperonis are scary, but pepperoncinis are worse. I want my tongue really bad list. <laughs> That's just it, isn't it, Nico? The family business has been misinterpreted for years. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't you? You and Tony have led everyone in Chicago to believe you're both crime bosses. Now knows. Why would I do that? We run a restaurant here. Well, that's what you want everyone to think, but not think. And that's what they think. I don't want anybody thinking about anything about thinking anything. <laughs> <laughs> but. If they think that you're doing crime, but act like you want them to think you're not doing crime, when in reality you're only making them think you are doing crime, then what they think is wrong. All this thinking is hurting my head. <laughs> you're really asking for it, Capper. Now, boss. Go ahead. Open it. Where's the heat? There is no heat. We run a family business, and it's a restaurant. What are you thinking? Plain and simple. It's just a restaurant. What? That can't be true. The more I dug around, the more I realized the family feud started due to one man, Michelangelo. Michelangelo? Yeah. He couldn't have done anything to Tony. Tony protected his job. I didn't say he did anything to Tony. I said he was the cause of the family feud. Oh. <laughs> You're being awfully quiet over there, Mrs. Moretti. Hmm. I have nothing to say to you. Why should I talk? I think you have plenty to say. Like, where Tony is. I'm an older woman. How should I know? Yes, but Kristoff and Guido are big, strong men. Loyal to do whatever you say. Isn't that right, Guido? <laughs> whatever she says. Hmm. <sighs> You can't approve of nothing. Mama. Nico, shush. Well, when your husband died, he left the Moretti's Italian restaurant to your eldest son, Antonio. And even though everyone knew that Nico here was the one who helped you out in the kitchen when he was a young boy, Tony had no nose for business like Nico did. <laughs> so Nico tried to talk to his brother into letting him run the restaurant. And then Tony ousted him. Christoph got wind of this and backed Nico up. Tony then had Christoph fired. Well, he needed to cook fast and not knowing the first thing about Italian food, hired Michelangelo, AKA Mike Smith. <laughs> Michael made his stuff from a can and anyone who told Tony was wrong was fired. So mama here decided the only way to keep her family business from failing was to do what any loving mother would do. Oh! Cookies. Mm -hmm. Close. She bonked him over the head with a rolling pin. I prefer the cookies. That first night, I noticed the pin on the floor after Tony was knocked unconscious. There were several flower prints on the candle, and I checked everyone's hands. And that included Mama's. And I knew that I knew then that she had done it, and I just didn't know why. You should have told me. I wanted all the facts first. 
It's a mother's prerogative to knock some sense into her bambino. That doesn't prove a nothing. I thought that too, until I remembered Kitty L'Amour telling me whatever mama wanted, everyone did. That meant no one in this family would have done anything without the author authorization except Tony. And since Tony wasn't listening, you rallied your two dogs to kidnap Tony and keep him out of the way. How could you? I love him, my son. I don't doubt you do there, Mrs. Moretti. That's why you kept him here in the restaurant. You didn't want him to be fed over to the sharks. You just wanted time to change the deed over to Nico's name. Go ahead into the kitchen pantry there and push the can of tomatoes. The wall will open and you'll see Tony back there. Why didn't you free him before now? <laughs> it's more dramatic this way. <laughs> I love drama. My favorite is anything with Humphrey Bogart. He's so dreamy. Not now, Ella. <coughs> Sorry, Nico. I think it's time to call it a day. <gasps> Tony, you're all right. I was so worried. What do you think you're going to do? Copper take my mama to jail? She's well, an she, old woman. She kidnapped your brother. Isn't that what I'm supposed to do? I won't press the charges. Mama, how could you? You serve a kind of slop and you ask me, how could I? How could you? How could you degrade your papa's name like that? I couldn't let Michelangelo go. Why not? He's not even Italiano. He couldn't let him go because he had something on you, didn't he, Tony? Hey, I thought we shut you up. By what? Having me fired from the police department? No. That just made me mad. What? Have you done, Antonio? Might as well tell everyone. It's bound to come out sooner or later. We could lose the business. Go ahead, clear your conscience. I already signed the papers. It's my business now anyways. You can't do that. It's my restaurant. Not anymore. It's what? done. What did you do, Tony? What did you do? All right. After I caught Micah kissing Ella. Ella? <laughs> Yeah, I knowingly fed Michael spoiled tomatoes. And he got the food poisoning and he threatened to sue. If I didn't offer him a job, he was going to sue. I didn't want to, I didn't want to lose the restaurant, so I fired a Christoph and I hired Mike. Uh, you infernato por Christoph over rotten tomatoes? But Shame mama, on you! But mama mia! <laughs> you should have let a Nico run the restaurante from the beginning. Thank you, mama. You take a good care of my business, you hear? Or I'll kalaka you too, you capiche? Yes, mama. Good. Now make up with your brother. Of course, mama. We're family. This feud's gone on long enough. You swindled me out of my position, and you want me to forgive you? You're my brother. This forgiveness, or this bitterness eats at us all. We you can't do this no more. You never wrote, and you never called. I did. You never answered. I'm sorry, Nico. <laughs> Me too, Tony. Friends. Nah, we're brothers. <laughs> now, Nico, you get Kristoff, fire that Mike impostero, give me some real Italiano back in my kitchen, capisce? Yes, Mama. Good. And you, this ain't your work no more. You go find a different job. Yes, I'm on. <laughs> and detective, I'll help get your job back. I don't hold grudges. If the good old Lord can forgive me, then I can forgive you. But you can't leave my familia alone or you'll be sleeping with the fishies. You capiche? Are you threatening to kill me, ma'am? What? Don't be a stupido. I mean, we'll throw you in the crater with the anchovies. You Americanos are always so dramatic. <laughs> now, I'm tired. Ella, help an old woman to a room. Yes, Mama. Thank you, ma'am. Just remember, crime doesn't pay. But you investigate crime. 
does that mean your job doesn't pay? <gasps> oh, Miela, always asking a sillier question. Let's go. I'll sleep like a baby. Why do people always say sleep like a baby when babies wake up every two hours? <laughs> so, I expect you want the rest of your money. Oh, that would be nice. Do you think I'm beautiful, detective? I thought we already covered that. <laughs> Pretty enough to waive your fee. <laughs> The Queen of Sheba isn't even gorgeous enough for that. Fine. I'll have Tony send you a check. <sighs> so, Miss LaRusso, what couldn't turn your head, huh? <laughs> That's quite a feat. Oh, she may have turned it, but it put a crick in my neck. <laughs> How about a cup of java? We're closed. The case is closed. You can go back to Langley, turn in your badge, and get yourself a better job. <laughs> and what would that be, detective? Something a little less dangerous. <laughs> I happen to like danger. It was clear this dame was going to come out and make me come, make, make me come right out and say it. <laughs> say what? Who are you talking to? Why are you always doing that? <laughs> I'd like to take you to dinner, Miss DeLuca. Well now, was that so hard? <laughs> Let me get my coat. <laughs> Amen. Ready? Where would you like to go? <laughs> Let's see. Chinese, Mexican, burgers, anything but Italiano. Capiche? You got it. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> 